everybody so we got a quick unboxing to do from some items I picked up from Harbor Freight as well as we're gonna do a comparison between some chisels Harbor Freight carries compared to the ones I picked up today thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys there hey everybody how's it going all right, so today, today we're going to um, we're gonna unbox these three items right here. I'm just gonna put this aside. It's just a, a microfiber bonnet for a nine to ten inch um, applicator. As well as we're gonna go over um, the two sets that I already have, and the, I'll put them right here, and the differences there might be between them. So let's get these open. Uh, I need to grab a knife. I have a knife on me. So I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. So far. There's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come in just this little pouch. It says Pittsburgh Skew 3838. What's this? Oh, okay, so the button's on the back. You know, it's a it's an alright little pouch. Kinda wish it would have came in a, a thicker bag like these canvas style bags, but you know, it'll work. I'll probably eventually move it to something else. Um, put that right there. These are the ones that I wanted to, to, to more or less talk about. This is the 12 piece pinch uh, punch and chisel set 66337 black oxide and they all come with these these little chintzy straps that I don't like yeah they also could have made the boxes smaller by by rolling them like this put them in a, a wide box Instead of a narrow flat box, they could put it in a wider box, but you know, it's probably easier to flatten it like this, make it pretty as skinny as possible, and put it in a thin, thin box than anything else. Get these stupid straps done, undone. You know. So here is this set. I do like these bags. These bags are pretty nice. Um, 12 piece punch and chisel set includes three drift punches, three cold chisels, two pin punches. Oh, three drift punches, three cold chisels, one cape chisel, one diamond point chisel, two pin punches, one center punch, and one uh, prick punch. This set is a lot different than these two over here because these have these style as well. I have a couple flat pin punches. Drift punches. I believe those are drift punches. I could be wrong. I could have gotten it wrong. One center punch and one prick punch. I believe this is the style is is the is a prick punch. Uh, but I could be wrong. It could be this guy over here. Um, one diamond point. Ah, this is the diamond point right here. They do have oil on them. Three cold chisels. Yep, one, two, three. 
one cape chisel, which is this guy right here. Looks like a spade. A diamond point. One center punch. Yeah, the big one is the prick punch. And then um, three drift punches. Two pin punches. Yep. Yeah. But it is these these are nice little sets. You know, I do I do give them that. Um, just roll it this way. That one there. We're gonna open this one real quick. Oh, the tape's already removed from this one. Hopefully none are missing. This is the Jumbo 10-piece Pittsburgh Pro Set. I do kind of wish they would have given you something better than these chintzy little tie-off straps. But. These guys right here. 10-piece Jumbo. So yeah, these are really big. Like this one right here. They definitely are Jumbo. Very large. So these will work good on trying to knock out large half inch, three quarter inch bolts. Um, this one looks similar to the other chisel in the other set. This is a one by three quarter by eight by half inch. These look like they're all in, in SAE, quarter by half inch by six inch, three, uh, three seventeenths by three eighths by six inch. Yeah, so it's got a one inch by three quarter. So three piece cold chisels, so these three chisels right here, are one by three quarter by eight by half inch, three quarter by five eighths by seven inch. So this is this guy right here. Then half inch by three eighths by six inches, this guy. Then you got three tapered punches. Which would be these three guys at the beginning are tapered punches, these three. So six seventeenths by five eighths by 10 inch, this big guy right here. 5 30 seconds by half inch by 9 inch, this guy. And then 2 fifteenths by 3 eighths by 8 inch by half inch, which is this guy right here. And then you have three pin punches, which are these three at the end. So 1 quarter inch by half inch by 6 inch. Then three seventeenths by three eighths by six inch, and then three thirty seconds by three eighths by five inch, which is this little guy right here. And then you have one piece center punch, one eighth by three eighths by five inch, which is this lonely guy over here in the large pocket. Yeah, it's a center punch because it's got the center point on it. Well, we took those out of the bag, and what I'm going to do now is we're going to... I'm going to open this up a little bit. We're going to move the boxes. Move the boxes out the way. This guy. This guy to the side. Twelve piece cold chisels and punch set. So these are cold chisels and a punch set. 
these guys right here are Jumbo Punch and Chisel Set. These black ones are 12 piece punch and chisel set as well, but they're different finish made of a different material. Let's see if I can move the camera back. See if I can move the light a little bit. All right, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit. You guys can see and this large one I have right here because I ripped the bag trying to get this through here. You can see the the grommet's gone. This one here. This is an industrial punch and chisel set. So if we Look at these guys, the handles are a little bit smaller, which is why they're not jumbos. Compared to, for an example, this guy right here. The, this one's not as long, it's a jumbo set, but it's not as long. The handle is a lot bigger though. But, these have a pretty large pointed taper where these guys are more rounded and it's also the jumbo one is wider right here it's a lot wider on the wedge side and this has got a point to it but it's a lot more rounded where this one's got a point and you can tell the difference between each side. It's definitely ground on this side and this side to make that point. So if you guys were looking for a specific type of chisel set, you know, and you just don't want to spend, you know, 70 bucks or more buying, you know, all four of these kits, you know, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Um, these, this kit has got more chisels in it. You know, the industrial punch and chisel set has a lot more chisels. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six different chisels. And these are cold chisels. It has three tapered punches. One, two, and three. Has one center punch or two center punches, this one and this guy over here. And then it's got one pin punch. Now this set, the pin punch, this guy right here, it's very large. It actually looks like there's two center, oh, two center punches, yep. So this large center punch and this smaller center punch where this guy over here only comes with one center punch. And let me see this center punch. This center punch is actually smaller than this one. So they're all actually different. So you basically do get, um, if you get more than one, you actually get more than one center punch. Like this one comes with two center punches as well, right here. But this guy, the two center punches are different sizes, but they're not skinny in a sense. I'm trying to get this out of the bag. See, these two center punches have wider handles, but the center section is a lot bigger. So the taper is a lot bigger on these two compared to this one right here in this set. So the industrial set actually has a taller, thinner center punch. And it also has a very large center punch, like this tall center punch right here. This came out of the cold chisel and punch set, and you can see it's wider than the industrial set. So if you guys need specifically a, a specific set of punches or chisels, um, 
you would have to decide which one of these four sets here is best for you. Now, I bought all four of them because of the fact that they all had different sized punches and center punches. That was why I bought all of them. Um, I figured, you know, I'll, it'll come in handy having extras anyways. But as an example, this cold and chisel and punch set right here has very tiny chisels. And these are actually extremely sharp. I don't know if you can hear it with my finger, but here. You can probably shave with these guys. Yeah, it's actually pulling my hair off. So you can shave with this one. And this one is, this one's sharp as well. So these are pretty sharp, where some of these are dull, like this guy right here. Oh, these are sharp too. These are actually very sharp. You know, the likely chance you're going to shave with a chisel, though, is unlikely. Unless, you know, if you're using wood, you know, this stuff for woodworking, I highly doubt you're, you're going to want to use it for woodworking. But they're all different, especially this jumbo set. This is more rounded. It's kind of dull. It's not sharp. Compared to the one I just pulled out as an example, like this guy right here. You can hear the, it's, I'm just not tinging metal. You can hear that when my finger goes across it, you can hear it scrape. They're all pretty nice sets. Um, the 12 piece um, carbon with the black oxide finish over here has a lot of different smaller sizes. This has a really tiny pin punch. It's got a couple of really tiny pin punches in it. So it's all going to be based off of what you guys need. You know, can I recommend this one over that one? Or this one over this one? Or this one over that one? No, I can't. I have four different sets in front of me. Um, what I can say, though... What I can say, though, is that they're all nice sets. We'll find out, you know, down the road how well they last. You know, if one breaks over the other. But when it comes down to, you know, which one has the best bang for your buck, it's kind of hard to say, kind of dependent on what you guys need. You know, when you look at the boxes, the boxes can be confusing. You know, two of these are Pittsburgh Pros, which are these two at the top, right here. And then this is a Pittsburgh, and that's just a regular Pittsburgh. They all have lifetime warranties. So, you know, what you got to do is take it back if something goes wrong, and they'll exchange it for you. Um, the black ones do have very sharp chisels, um, cold chisels, that you could more than likely shave with if you really needed. Um, where... The 12 piece cold chisel and punch set that's Pittsburgh Pro, it has slightly sharp chisels, but they are very, very nicely pointed, which will be helpful in certain situations when you're, you know, hitting pieces of steel um, or trying to get like, you know, U joints out. Where the industrial set, if you need a lot of chisels, the industrial set comes with the most chisels. This one comes with three. This one comes with three. This one comes with two. So the 10 piece jumbo set oh, comes with three as well. So these three sets come with three chisels. Where this one comes with six. One, two, three, four, five, six chisels. And it has a, a pick, two pin punches and two 
um, center punches. So if he needs something that's got more chisels and or um, pin punches, this will probably be your best bet. If you need something that's got a large selection of sizes of pin punches, you're going to want this guy because it's got six pin punches, two center punches, and a starting punch, and three chisels. So this set has the most variety of punches. If you need large, large punches and chisels, this is probably your best bet. It's got the biggest punches and biggest um, chisels as well as the biggest pin punches. If you need something that's got a diamond point chisel, you know, pin punches, center punch, and a prick punch, this set's probably going to be your best bet. Can I say that, you know, they were um, not worth it? No, because I now have a variety of different options. So if what I'm working on, I need a lot of pin punches, then I could just grab this set. No big deal. If I need something that's got a variety of, you know, chisels, drift punches, a cape chisel, a diamond point chisel, a center punch, and a prick punch, I grab that set. If I need something that I need, you know, very large gauges of um, tapered punches, then this guy, this set's probably the best. It's got more tapered punches in it. Um, if I needed something that had a huge selection of chisels, well, then the industrial set's probably my best bet because it's got six different size chisels in it, ranging from different handle thicknesses to different chisel thicknesses and even different chisel you know this one has this set has a very thick chisel section and a thin chisel section with big handles where this one as well also has a good selection of chisel points in widths um, as well as the chisel side and it has a good selection of tapered punches and it's got a it has one pin punch in it so it's all variant based off of your guys's uh, opinion of what pro what project you need them for um you know i think this is probably like 70 bucks worth right here one was like 20 well they're all kind of on sale in a sense Two of them are 14. I just don't remember which ones. One's like 14.98, one I think is like 14.99 is $15 exactly. Um one was uh 21 bucks and the other one was like $17 if I remember correctly. So it's about 70 something dollars worth of chisels and punches right here, but I use I've been using a lot of um, buying these individually just because, you know, I, I needed a specific size. So I went and just bought one specific size for that job. I don't actually have sets until now. So these sets are going to be a lot handier than just running to the store and grabbing a tool. You know, like running to Napa. Hey, I need this type of pun uh, size pin punch. Oh, okay, we'll have it in like an hour or whatever. I could just open one of these up and do whatever I need to do. Um, for the price, I think it's a great value, especially at Harbor Freight. Two of them are Pittsburgh Pro. Two of them are Pittsburgh. They have four different uh, punch and chisel sets. The plus to some of these is, is none of them that I can tell have the same size. So, you know, you don't have to worry about getting duplicates that I can tell. Let me see if any of these are a duplicate. No, nope, this one's smaller than this one. Let me check, check, check this one. And this one's bigger than this one. So in this set, this isn't in here. For an example, I know for a fact this one isn't in this set at all because all of these are way too big. And then, in this set over here, let's see if this one is around the same size. Uh, nope, this one's slightly smaller than this one. And this is the smallest one that comes in this set. 
So there is a, another plus to if you bought each one of these kits. You don't have to worry about certain items being duplicates. That is actually very nice. Like, um, let's see this guy right here and this guy over here. It's slightly smaller. This one is slightly smaller than this one. So it is nice that you, you don't end up getting duplicates in, in that sense. Um, this video is about 25 minutes or so long now. I don't want to draw it on. I will just say, hey guys, if you want to discuss this more, you know, leave some comments. Um, they are nice sets. Don't get me wrong. They are nice sets. I just kind of wish that the... I wish they didn't give you this chintzy little strap. You know, I tried to put a quick band on this one and I ripped the grommet completely out. As you can see, the grommet's gone. Hopefully it holds up and it doesn't rip anymore. Um, and I, you can see that I got this one through this grommet and it didn't rip, but it's too small. This one is actually not long enough to physically roll this guy. So, yeah. You know, it might be. Might be if I do it this way. Yeah, it's actually actually big enough to do it that way as long as this isn't folded in here as you can tell um, but all in all they're nice sets um, you know I I buy these from Walmart you know they're not that expensive and they come in handy you know but my personal opinion I, I think they're pretty nice sets for the cost of what you pay for them and you know the fact that they all have lifetime warranties, you know, if something happens and they go, something goes wrong, you know, it's not a, like a huge ordeal. You could just go, to, you know, to Harbor Freight and replace them, which in a, in a sense, in my opinion, is kind of nice. Uh, especially if you buy something like this online, you might have to wait for something like that, which, you know, could be aggravating or frustrating. But I figured I'd show you guys, uh, give you guys my opinions, what I thought um, before I do a review on them and see how well they last. I figured, you know, it might be helpful that you guys get a video like this, you know. Maybe somebody's looking for a sets like this, but they don't know if they want to buy all, all four of the sets or they just want a specific set. I figured, you know, I'll show you guys what they all look like. Maybe one will suit your needs over, you know, the other as an example. You know, and I'm just trying to be helpful. You know, that's the whole point of the channel is to be helpful. You know, from the outside, can you tell what the difference is? No, other than that they're different sizes. You know, but I do hope that you guys um, found some use out of the video. Um, let me know in the comments below which one that would suit you better if you would have to choose between one or would you buy all four like I did. You know, let me know down below. I'm probably going to modify these bags. Um, I'm going to grab a couple more of these ties from Walmart or whatever and modify them so they suit my need but you know they're nice they're pretty nice sets especially for the price you know and it's not a huge amount of money that you're spending in a sense oops already knocking the camera over guys so that's what they are right there Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. The video is almost at 30 minutes. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. 
hit the bell notification. Better yet, smash the bell notification if this information was helpful or it helped you do you know, a specific project and uh, you needed a specific set. Instead of buying four sets, you bought the set that you needed. I would appreciate it if you give me that information down below if it was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Please uh, go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my um, Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.